This video brought to you by EquestrianCoach.com, the world's leading online video training site for equestrians. Hello, I'm Ronnie Beard, and welcome to EquestrianCoach.com. Um, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about hunters and what I look for in a good hunter or a quality hunter. Um, I was very fortunate. I grew up in a time when there were many great hunters. I grew up in Virginia and had some wonderful mentors, um, the likes of Gene Cunningham and Kenny Wheeler, um, who really taught me what to look for in a nice horse. I've been very privileged and um, I've had some of the nicest hunters uh, that have shown in this country that have been champion at most of the major horse shows with some of the finest riders such as Bernie Traurig, Katie Monaghan, Melanie Smith, and many others. Um, among my great hunters were the wonderful working hunters Royal Blue and Gozi, and also the great confirmation hunters, Old Dominion, Logically, and Regardless. Um, we're going to be looking at some films from the 1970s, and um, I'd like to be able to tell you just a little bit about them. We will also be looking at a video of the wonderful horse Rumba, ridden by John French in the 2009 Hunter Derby in Lexington, Kentucky. One of the best show hunters uh, that I've been privileged to judge in the last few years. So I think it'll be a very interesting comparison and I'm really looking forward uh, to seeing these videos. This is a video taken by Bernie Traurig's father of one of the great working hunters we had while we were at Winter Place Farm with Bernie riding at Chagrin Valley in about 1974. This was one of my favorite horses. Royal Blue was an incredible mover an incredible jumper. And as we approach this straight up and down wall, uh, absolutely no ground line, and notice the horse's incredible form over top of it. As you can see, he covers the ground just effortlessly. A very famous horseman that I knew and respected very much was Dave Kelly. And when he scored this horse, he would always say, I give him a bonus point for every single step he takes. Now we're approaching the triple combination, which you don't see in many of the hunter classes today, and it's quite a large triple. Notice the difference in the hunter classic versus the classes that we have today. Jumping triple combinations, you'll see a Liverpool, and some very straight up and down jumps as well. This horse had a lot of pizzazz and personality and a lot of brilliance, always with a great expression. And he studies the jump very well and an incredible front end. That was just a, a beautiful jump over the Liverpool. The judges were never afraid to throw out the big scores. He's scored a 90 in this class. Here's another great working hunter that Bernie Traurig rode in the 1970s, a thoroughbred by the name of Circuit Breaker. Bernie was very privileged that he had four great horses in the Working Hunter Division at that time. He had Royal Blue, Circuit Breaker, Riot Free, and the very famous Gozi. All thoroughbreds and all wonderful jumpers and on any given day could win anywhere. You'll rarely see a wide ground line or a ramp type jump, which I think truly brought out the great jumping ability of these thoroughbred horses. Notice this horse and the way he jumps. He spends a lot of time in the air and he is a very expressive jumper, very bold. And I think that he covers the ground very nicely, shows a lot of brilliance. And these working classes and these hunter classics, the brilliance was given a bonus point for sure. Once again, jumping all the naturals, including just now the Liverpool, very easily, and going on to win this class. During the 1970s, it was very traditional 
that the working hunters would jump a very solid four foot. For the hunter classics, such as this one in Chagrin, the jumps were generally four foot three to four foot six with very wide spreads. I, I find that the jumps were quite a bit larger then than they are now. I have been told by uh, quite a few experts, including George Morris, that he would have been very happy to have taken one of these hunters and gone right to Europe and shown it in a jumper class. We're now watching a video of the wonderful horse Rumba, ridden by John French, winning the 2009 Hunter Derby in Lexington, Kentucky. This horse is a wonderful style, very easy going, great expression, and jumps in a very nice form. You'll find that probably there are a lot more related distances uh, in this derby than we were looking at when we were watching the Hunter Classic from Chagrin. I think the sport has evolved in a little bit more technicality as far as in between the jumps, a lot more emphasis put on watching the horse at the ends of the ring. The other classics were much more about the gallop and more of a cross-country feel. And this is much more of an indoor stadium feel. Once again, I've been privileged to judge this horse. He always shows a lot of consistency, always has been beautifully ridden, and is certainly one of the top contenders today.